sale on as well, so. Oh, is that a special thing, these sale? Yeah, we've got real sale on, so all cars are discounted a little bit more than the usual one, but... Every car? Yeah. Majority, it should be majority are. So these signs up there, yeah. that's the price they are now once we've got this sale on. Right. So it just takes a couple hundred quid off of each. I mean, I'm not sure exactly for each car, but... Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to another car dealer video. So today we're looking at Arnold Clark in Wakefield. Now we haven't done an Arnold Clark dealer before, but I've seen many of them and I thought, yeah, we need to start doing them. And then somebody mentioned it on a comment. Uh, and I'd already planned to kind of do a few. And lo and behold, up north, there's quite a few, so we're here quite late today, they're open till 8pm. So we're going to pop in now at about 6 o'clock and take a little look. But check out these amounts of cameras they've got here. And then... Look at that. And then... Oh, it's active as well. Wow! Why so many cameras? Why do they need those ones and then those? And then there... More. Over there... I'd hate to be the person watching those. All right, then let's go take a look, shall we? The UK's biggest used car sale. Okay then. City car. Arnold Clark, how are we gonna do today? Are you gonna embrace the filming? Or are you gonna reject the filming? Got a Tesla for sale there. 38 grand on the Tesla. How would a Tesla end up at Arnold Clark? Got some electronic charging going on here. Looks like a car being sold there, maybe. This place is massive. Welcome to Arnold Clark. It's gonna scratch my back on here. That's been itching me for a while. Oh my God, that's better. Yep, she's selling in that car there, or trying to. Let's go and say hello. I know what's gonna happen in here. It's gonna be a negative, I think, in here. Music's quite loud as well. But we don't care about that. We'll just do a load of talking. Look how bright it is. Yeah, they ain't gonna want filming in here. I guarantee you, they're gonna kick us out. Guaranteed. What are we doing with this one then? I'm oh, parking it up. All right, mate. Oh, that's reduced. 15 grand off. Yeah. Very good. It's parking it perfectly. Are you putting another one in? Uh, no, I'm just bringing one in now. Oh wait, yeah, in there. Uh, oh. No, just for a customer, that's all. Oh, fair enough, mate. Uh, what's with the camera? I'm videoing. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I've never done Arnold Clark before, so. Have you not? No. Ah. Oh, there's some sort of... Uh... I do YouTube. Ah, do you? I've done every other dealer going. Right, okay. Never Arnold Clark. Oh, fair enough. So I thought I'd come in. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, absolutely. See what happens. Bye. It's very uh, bright in here, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's bright in here. Yeah, it's not bad thing, is it? Not for looking at the cars, but if I was you, it would annoy me if I was worked here. Oh, is it? Yeah, for it's, sure. To be fair, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. You get used to it. Get used to it, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Cool, man. Great. Yeah, look at the floor. It's very clean. Very clean in here. Music, music, music. <laughs> Another Tesla. 38 grand on the Tesla. Just curious how Teslas end up here. Don't know. 
Well, they're open later than other dealers here, so. But look at all the sales desks, desks they've got in the middle. Loads of sales desks. Hmm. Loads of space in here, isn't there? Well, he hasn't said anything so far. I was kind of, I was kind of expecting them to uh, straight away be like, no, you can't be doing that, but. But they haven't yet. And they've even got a transit over there. Well, a pickup, sorry, Ford, Ford pickup. All right, finally the music's off. Ollie Murs can't copyright me. <laughs> Oh, I think we'll go this way. They're going to put another car in here, I think. Yeah. Well, if you didn't know about Arnold Clark, you do now. Nothing really stands out as it being anything special, though. The cars are average. The floor is very nice. But the desks over there are average, cheap, lots of them. You just feel like you're another person sat at another desk, just another number. It doesn't feel bespoke or like your own special corner, you know, like other dealers. No, he's reversing this Merc in for a customer, I think. How funny would it be if he scraped the back end off that now? <laughs> Not funny, but like <laughs> timing or what? AMG in red. I bet you get very good at parking working here. Let's go and talk to reception. I see there's a lady who's rejoined the desk at the front. So we're going to say hello. It's always a good start. Ooh. Nice flowers as well. Yeah, eight o'clock they're open till here. It's quite late, isn't it? For a car dealer. I bet that annoys some people working here. Little waiting area. Again, it doesn't look anything special, does it? What's over there? Click and collect. We've got a random desk going round here. Not sure what that's sealing off. Oh, nothing. Music's very loud though, isn't it? Oh, we've got a coffee area over here. But again, it doesn't feel very uh, warm over here, or welcoming, does it really? I mean, look at that, it just, just doesn't feel it. I know that's probably what they go for, but... I mean, look at all the desks, it just feels like an office. And offices where, are where you make money, aren't they? Offices are where deals are done. But for the customer, it should feel warmer, maybe. But anyway. Hmm. 13 grand on the Ford. Sixteen point seven grand on this one. Hmm. Well, they've got customers at the front. We don't want to bother her too much. Because all we're going to say is we're doing a video. <laughs> so it's not really. I bet you get good at parking, mate, working here. What's that, sorry? Do you get good at parking? Yeah, you get better <laughs> over time. Over time, you certainly do get better. But I bet you could put that in a very tight gap in here. Yeah, whereas an average person probably struggle a little bit, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Have you ever hit one? Like, reversed it and scraped anything, or? Usually we have two people, but well, driving one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it happens, though, on it occasionally, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately it does. Yeah, man. I like the floor in here, mate. It's very, uh... Shiny. The floor's nice. Yeah, it's shiny, for sure. Is it cleaned often, is it? Yeah, it must be. 
Nice. Ah. You've got a few branches around here, haven't you? Uh, what, on a car? Yeah. Well, you've got quite a few in the vicinity, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Down south, I haven't seen that many. No, it's, uh, it's getting there. It's getting oh, there. is it more up north, would you say? It's a Scottish country, so a lot of ah, the border. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Got you. Cool, thank you, mate. Walk past all these desks. Open late, aren't you here? Yeah. I bet you guys hate that. No, I'm used to it. Don't mind. No. Oh, cool one. Music, 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 music. I think it'd be a good one to get the drone up on because it's quite a large, uh, large site. Mm. Hi, I'm just videoing. <laughs> uh, you weren't here when I walked in, so no. I just cracked on. Yeah, you might as well. You sound like. Uh, not from around here? Near about half an hour away. I'm oh, right. I'm closer to Doncaster. Oh, right, okay. So I'm over that way. It takes me about 35 minutes to get here. Oh, right. It's a long way to go, isn't it, for work? Yeah, but I like this place. Do you? Yeah. Good place to work? Yeah, definitely. Why? Stuff? Yeah. yeah. Literally just everyone in here. That's good. Cool. Nice. Great. Um, I'm pretty much finished inside, so I'm just going to go outside and do a little video of the cars. Yeah, of course. That's good. Um, if the rain's knocked off, I'll get the drone over. Yeah. I mean, weather's not been that bad today. Better than the snow we had last week. Better than where? We had snow last week. Did you? Yeah. Up here? Yeah, it was oh. quite bad as well, actually. Was it? Yeah, near Barnsley, it was really bad. It was like two feet, three feet. Feet? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. But it's all right now. Well, it's raining, but that's normal, right? Yeah. That's the yellow. <laughs> Cool, all right. Um, quite late here, isn't it, open? Yeah, 8 o'clock. That's unusual for a car dealer. Yeah, 8 o'clock. we've got this sale on as well, so... Oh, is that a special thing, the sale? Yeah, we've got real sale on, so all cars are discounted a little bit more than the usual weapon. Every car? Yeah. Majority. It should be the full car, but majority are. So these stands up there, yeah. that's the price they are now, once we've got this sale on. Right. I mean, I'm not sure exactly for each car, but yeah, yeah. just take some money off the car. We've got the sale on in January and a bit of February. So, is that to attract more people to come in and obviously buy the cars at a time of year when it's quieter, maybe? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, great. Thanks for that. I'm going to go outside and crack on. All right, that's fine. I'll Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, there we go. Arnold Clark. Got a shopping trolley there. That's a food bank. And we're into their car park with a million cameras facing onto us. Uh, the iconic Arnold Clark stickers on the car. I see them all the time. I always wondered where they, where they came from. Honestly, I presumed Arnold Clark was like a, like a group. So you buy it from, say, Audi or Mercedes, and then Arnold Clark would be the group. That's what I presumed, but I was wrong. Lots of Teslas in here. Look, we've got one there, one further down, and that one's only 25 grand. Must be high mileage, really. And that one down there is 27 grand. Hmm. More cameras on that post over there. If they didn't need any more already, there's loads. All right then, let's get the drone up. Last one of the day here in Wakefield. 
Guy there checking for scratches, very good. Home point updated. There we go, Arnold Clark. In Wakey, Wakefield. Yeah, it's quite a big place, isn't it, look? With a thousand cameras on this car park. Can we see a lot at the minute? No. Can't really see a lot in any direction. The visibility is not the best. Must be the cloud and the rain. Let's go and take a look at Arnold Clark from every angle. And then we're done. I'm hungry. Get, get some food. To the hotel. Day two of four. Up north. Again. So there's the main road. Looks pretty awesome from above at night, isn't it? Let's go a bit higher and have a look, why not? While we're here, rain's knocked off completely, so take advantage of that. 120 meters. But look at the visibility. Very bad. See there, you should be seeing lights of city. Nothing. Back to Arnold Clark anyway. Got a yellow barrier there to get into the car park. Presumably at night that's locked. Ooh, is that a car? Is that a storage compound? Maybe that's where the cars go when they first get them in. Looks like a bodywork little tent there. Smart repair. And then into that room there, which is where we saw the pickup. And probably prepped, prepared, cleaned, etc. I'm guessing this, this building here might well be a valeting room. Let's have a look. Is that valeting there? I think it probably is valeting. So they drive them in from the car park. Valeted. Perhaps then they're parked there. And taken into the showroom. Through there. Alright, let's get a 360 photo. It's going to look quite good at night time, isn't it? So everybody, what do we think about Arnold Clark in Wakefield? What are our thoughts on it? Massive place though. Lots of cars here, lots of average cars, what I call them. Your average family car or your average daily car. I mean, look at these, they don't stand out and they're just averagely priced, aren't they? 10, 12, 14 grand. Somebody's first or second car, maybe. And that's probably what a lot of buyers um, who come here are, a lot of customers. Probably first time buyers. Lights, can't you? The flashing lights are quite bright. Yeah, um, yeah. That will, well, I hope that will. Uh, at one point it was, yeah. I went up to 120 metres then. Bloody hell. That's the maximum I can go up to legally. Is that as far as your control will take it? Or will it, just it, will, it will go to 500 metres, but yeah. technically illegal. <laughs> Uh, so I went up to 120, did a 360 photo for Google Map. Yeah. I'll upload that on there and then a little video of that place from above. Yeah, very good, sir. That's it, mate, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Thanks, man. Have a good evening, mate. See you later. Bye. 
So everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. Share the video. Subscribe. Like the video. And I'll see you on a future video.